one last little topic, which is very important, just to prove that EIGRP is analyzing the bandwidth on the actual connection types that you have. So what we're going to do on our first router that's labeled router zero all the way to the left here, we're going to go inside and we're going to change the bandwidth value on both of these interfaces, the S000 and the S001. So I'm going to click on that router. Well, before I do that, let's see which direction is actually going right now. So I'm going to go all the way to the right to that sidebar and I'm going to click all the way at the bottom behind real time so simulation mode can come up. And then I'm going to select my closed envelope, which is the simple PDU, which is a ping. I'm going to click on it once. I'm going to click on PC0. I'm going to scroll to the right a little bit and click on PC1 because we want to see the direction that the actual packet is going. And as you can see, this is the first time we were pinging in this scenario. You'll see that there's two, an ICMP and an ARP. And all you got to do is hit auto capture and play. So let's take a look, sit back and relax and see which way this ping or this PDU is going. It's doing its ARP right now and you can tell in the event list what exactly is going on. And here comes the ping and which way will it go? And as we can see, it chooses to go down because EHRP said, hey, the best metric or the best path is to go down. So what we're going to do, I'm going to stop this. I just go all the way to the bottom, select it, and I'm going to delete it. Always make sure that if you're in simulation mode and you have this simulation palette open, you go back to the lower right and you click on that little clock and it takes you back to real time. So now we know that EIGRP is choosing to go down. Well, we're going to change that and we're going to force it to go up just to prove that it's using bandwidth. Let's click on this router. Let's put our window up. Let's go to our command line interface. Enable, config T. Let's do it to the interface S00 first, int S0 slash 0 slash 0, enter. The command is bandwidth, not that difficult, right? And then we're going to make this the highest bandwidth, 10 million, 10, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And things are going to change. Things are going to happen because now recalculation takes effect. We're going to hit enter one more time. I'm going to up arrow, change it to S001, enter. But this time the bandwidth is going to go back in time. We're going to go 64 kilobits per second because it is in kilobits per second. Hit enter. I'm going to do a shortcut for copy. You can see how EIGRP, the dual algorithm, is calculating now because we made changes. So now we're going to minimize this. And now the moment of truth. We're going to go back to simulation mode, all the way here to the right, behind real time. We're going to select our simple PDU, which is the closed envelope. And we're going to click on PC0. And then scroll to the right and click on PC1. And now you see there is no ARP. Now there's just an ICMP. I'll put this in the middle of the window. And what should happen, once I click Auto Capture and Play, it should not go down. It should now take this route. Let's see what happens. Auto Capture and Play. Here we go. And there it is. So that proves right there that EIGRP, it's looking at the actual bandwidth K value command. I'm going back to real time. So that's why EIGRP is a very good protocol to use if you're above 15 routers and they're all Cisco routers. It's a good routing protocol to use because it is pay attention to your traffic, to your load, the delay, the bandwidth. So if you need to manipulate the bandwidth in EIGRP, it is very simple. So there you have it, EIGRP.